Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I'm back with Layout 2 for How to Kill a Kit with Style. This is a double challenge. So this is for Mercy Tiara Summer Inspiration Series. This challenge is called S is for Scrapbooking. And we just had to basically include at least three items that started with the letter S. It is also the Secret Not Secret Kit Club's uh, Helen's Challenge. It's called Super Themed to use themed products for the same themed <laughs> layout. So Christmas products for Christmas photos, etc., etc. I had this awesome cut file from Redefine Creative that is a Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file. Um, they are in collabs so that if you do not have your own uh, die cutting cut file machine, um, you can buy pre-cut cut files from Redefine Creative and Confessions of a Paper Addict makes these amazing cut files, which she allows Redefine Creative to kind of sell pre-cut for her. And the sea turtle was one of them, which I was very excited about because I got to see my first sea turtle like up close, like not in a zoo, not way out in the ocean. And I was really excited about it. So I saw the sea turtle cut file and immediately it was in my basket before I could even think twice about it. So I really wanted to get this on this page. I thought at first I might try and use two photos, um, but then I was looking at the proportions and I really want the sea turtle to kind of be the star and that just wasn't gonna happen when I have to cram it on a page with two photos. I had a hard enough time <laughs> using one photo in the proportion in like the way I wanted on the page. So, cause I just did not want to cover any part of the sea turtle up. <laughs> so um, I do go down to one photo. Um, my S's for the Mercy TR challenge is sea turtles, sequins, and stitching. So those are the three S's for that challenge that I decided to incorporate. You see me fiddle around a ton with my photo placement. So <laughs> I just didn't want to cover up the sea turtle. I didn't cover, want to cover up me. Um, but I definitely wanted the sea turtle to be the star and I didn't want to cover up the sea turtle. So I warred with myself a lot to try and figure out a way that I was happy um, getting both of these things on a page without either one of them covering up the other, um, which seems like it should be easily doable. There's plenty of real estate on that page for a four by four photo, <laughs> um, but I had the hardest time. So you see me fiddle around a lot with that. I'm just using some scraps to kind of do some layering um, I loved this sea turtle. As you could tell, I made it into a little shaker pocket. I had these awesome holographic silver sequins from Lisa. Um, so I dumped about half the baggie in the sea turtle to shake around in its little shell. And I love it so much. It makes me so happy. <laughs> so I just, uh, you saw me back the sea turtle in the rainbow ombre uh, paper from Palm Beach, which I thought was super cool. I really tried to keep the turtles you know, head and feet um, all in the bluey greens. And then I tried to keep the shell more on the pinky end of the pattern paper. So I think that's really cool. Um, you really can see those holographic sequins in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's so much fun. I love shaker pockets and there's just no better way to do them than in a cut file, I feel like. So I was really, really pleased with myself. It took me about an hour just to make the cut file portion. It didn't take too long to do the rest of the page, but oh, I love it. <laughs> so I am just using a few scraps to layer up around my photo. I know with this cut file, again, I don't want to do a whole bunch more with the pages. No, I want some layering details around the photo. The rest of the page I want to keep pretty simple because this sea turtle is the star and I don't want to detract from it or make it look too busy. Um, so yeah, I'm just layering up a few things around the photo and you'll see where I go from there. Um, I'm pretty much just pulling from my scrap pile you see there to the left. I'm still having a hard time cutting into my full sheets of this paper pad. <laughs> so I'm really trying to do all my layering with some of the scraps that I already have left over. So um, that's what you see me fiddling with. <laughs> I think I'm almost done here. I do end up pulling in um, a glassine bag and I wasn't going to pull in a tag, but again, um, I do want to try and use uh, as much as I can from the 10 items list um, for the secret at secret scrap party. Um, so again, I got a cut file. I got sequins on here. I got, um, what do I have so far? Because I, I got six out of the 10, um, but I don't know how much I've already incorporated. So I guess I'll go over that in a second. But I did want to layer up a little glassine bag because um, as I was layering, it kind of 
I didn't want to get too busy, but a glassing bag is one of those things where I feel like it adds a lot without overwhelming anything. <laughs> so I like the addition of the glassing bag. And then uh, because tags is one of those 10 items, I made sure that I got one on here. I tried using a tag from um, the die cut pack, but none of them were really working how I wanted. So I ended up just cutting a tag um, out of a scrap of that ombre. And I'm really liking that better because I cut it from the middle portion of that ombre, which is more the yellowy oranges, which are between the two sea turtle colors. So I kind of have the whole rainbow from that ombre paper on this one page. <laughs> um, so you'll see that in a minute once I really, I, I was determined to use a tag from the die cuts because I'm like, they already coordinate, they're already cut. Let me just use one of these tags. Um, but they just felt too small and they weren't the right color. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just cut my own. <laughs> so you can see here, I'm just going to use um, one of my actual tags as a stencil to then trace out my tag from this pattern paper. I've really enjoyed doing this with scraps because <laughs> um, you don't need that big of a scrap to get a little bit of, you know, a tag. So that's what I ended up doing there. I will also um, use my hole punch and pull in another one of Ronnie's little hole reinforcements so it looks like a real little tag. <laughs> so get that glued down. Um, I was going to use twine for the tag, um, but again, stitching was one of the 10 items. Um, I wasn't going to pull it on the page and I was like, you know what, this might be really cool to add in. So I do a few cross stitching details and after I did that, um, I thought it would look a lot better having the actual embroidery floss as my twine for the tag. <laughs> so you'll see me kind of switch that out. Um, at first I think that my photo is going to go in the bottom right here, um, but I end up fiddling around with placement and I end up liking it better on the top. So, <laughs> but I play around a lot with the placement because I, I'm sure I could have ran part of this cut file off the side of the page and then the photo could have tucked in easier and I thought about it for like half a second and then I was like, no, I cannot cut this cut file. <laughs> so I leave the entire cut file on the page because cutting any bit of it that would run off the edge just like broke my heart. So <laughs> I try and turn it all, I, my sea turtle does like a somersault on the page so I can try and figure out the best placement. Um, but I end up going back to having it up there at the top. It was kind of messing with me because I had the tag in the bottom left hand corner and I didn't want to cut my feet or the sea turtle out of the page because I wanted you to be able to really see the distance between me and the sea turtle even though I am kind of standing a ways back. There are laws um, in most states uh, but particularly in Hawaii that you cannot um, you know, interact with the wildlife. So, you know, uh, seals, sea turtles, anything like that, uh, you will be fined if you get too close to them. So I wanted to make sure I kept a respectful distance. So I am kind of a little bit ways off in the distance. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure you could still see that in the photo. So I moved the tag up into that glassine envelope and I like that proportionally a lot better. Um, it still looks a little busy having my photo Larry blob um, above this cute little sea turtle, but it's just the best way I could figure out how to get it on the page <laughs> without compromising my precious sea turtle. So um, here I sped it up a lot, but I did just do some cross stitching across the top of my photo. I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed stitching through all these layers. It was really satisfying. And now that little layering clump feels so secure because it's all stitched together. <laughs> I don't know why that was so satisfying. But I just did a little row of cross stitch up at the top of the photo. I thought that was a fresh little fun detail. Um, and then I will balance that um, once I start kind of thinking about my title and journaling on the other side of the page. So you'll see that in a minute. <clears throat> I wasn't quite sure what I was going to title this, um, but I didn't really want to pull in gold because of these silvery holographic sequins. So I wanted to leave the gold off of this page. Um, so while I was looking for what doily I wanted to use, I had these little Dear Lizzie die cutty words <laughs> or titles and there's this one that's in the perfect shade of pink that says the dream is real and as soon as I put it on this paper it just looked so good with the sea turtle. I was like you just that's it. You have to use that as your title. Um, <laughs> so and then Ronnie also sent me these really cute little um, 
little die cutting orders was that ronnie or lisa i'm pretty sure ronnie sent me those with all the die cuts and um there's this little one that says love life so i put that above the little stitching detail in the upper right hand corner um, and then I do go into Lisa's Happy Mail and pull in some of these little hearts down here by the title. So that wood veneer, which is another of the piece of the 10 items, got on the page, but it's also balanced. Um, so I really like how that looks. Again, I would have not pulled in wood veneer if it was not one of the 10 items, but it looks so good. And it just, it brings that sandy color that's in my photo into other areas of the page, which I didn't have otherwise. So I'm really enjoying that. But again, I am just going to do a stitching detail below my title um, just to kind of separate my journaling because I'm going to journal a little bit below those stitched lines. <clears throat> again, I sped this up a lot. <laughs> if you guys want me to cut the stuff out when I just stitch, let me know. Um, I try to speed it up a lot so it's not too irritating have to watch me just stitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I know I've been stitching a lot lately. I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Um, but yeah, so I pull out my white gel pen. It's just a Sakura Jelly Roll in white. And I draw my lines in and do a little bit of journaling. So it just says, uh, while we were on the road to Hannah, we stopped to see sea turtles at Ho'okipa Beach. Um, we wanted to do the entire road of Hannah. I've mentioned this before on another layout, but um, we just did not have enough time to do the entire road to Hannah. But we did go a little ways down and this was one of the stops just because this beach is very well known for having sea turtles. So um, there were a few out in the water. This was the only guy that was kind of up on the beach. Um, and I'm really glad he was out for us to kind of see. So here are the close-ups. Thanks guys so much for watching. I love this cut file. Make sure you check out Confessions of a Paper Addict. Also redefine creative if you don't have your own die cutting machine. Um, I will link them both below. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.